I like the story about the two drunks went out to play golf. The first drunk didn't even tee the ball up. He just threw it down on the ground. He says, by golly, Fred, looks like I got a half a dozen golf balls down there. The second drunk says, well, there shouldn't have been any trouble hitting them then with all them clubs you got in your hand. <laughs> Half hour later, the same two drunks are stumbling up the third fairway, and this run one drunk turned the other and said, Fred, I'm going to tell those two women up there either to get the devil off this golf course or let us go through. We'll be all day finishing here. So he ran up, got almost up to him, turned around and ran back. He said, good heavens, Fred, I almost got trapped. One of those girls is my wife and the other is my mistress. Boy, what a close call. The second one says, I'm new around here. I'll go tell them. So the second one races up. He gets almost up to him. He turned around and ran back. He said, by God, John, it's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> I like those positive thinking stories. Here's a fine story about positive thinking. This couple's married 20 years. Every night the husband comes home stiffer than a new broom. After 20 years of this, his poor wife has had it right up to here. She's had the course. She's waiting up for him one morning. He comes stumbling in. She looked at him. She said, Frank, this is it. I've had it. 20 years we've been married, and every night you come home drunk, look at you there, you bum. It. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I've had it. He said, well, what are you going to do about it? She says, I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to show you how stupid and ignorant you really look. So she reached up in the kitchen cabinet and pulled down a fifth quarter herself, a triple hooker, this much raw booze, and gulped it bottoms up. Now, this lovely woman never had a drink before in her life, and this hundred-proof whiskey got down about here and liked to set the poor girl afire. She dropped the glass, fell to the floor, coughing, writhing, fuming, almost choked to death. Finally looked up at him. She said, good heavens, Frank, how can you stand that vile stuff? He said, see, I thought I was out having a good time every night, did you? <laughs>